investment earnings last year, we have they haven't spent any of that money because all our projects, you know, have stalled and plus interest rates have gone way up. But the Fed has said they think the interest rates are going to level off. And so um, <clears throat> I just I I Scott and I thought the best target we could probably come up with is to say two twenty five for this year. Even though we've already had two seventy two in interest earnings in nine months. So that's our today for to the utilities, the utilities franchise. That comes so in that. that comes in four times a year. And so we've only had um, two payments in so far this year. Yeah. And I won't get the fourth payment in until September. So it runs a quarter behind. So um, and that's your due power, taxes on your due power and your cable if you have that. <coughs> And that has actually gone down in, re in years past, too, because people um, stopped using landlines. So does anybody have any questions on that first page? Your thoughts or input besides me putting the property tax up on the 2024 one?
you know, correctly, like about the, um, the boardwalk. We had to put boardwalk through what's kind of marshy and anyway, it was still very, very, very shocking. So that's not going to start because we don't have all the funding. I suspect. Well, um, the way the council left it with me was see what other grant funding you can come up with, and they were going to see um, what other grant funding that Sebastian could come up with. Um, so, I will, I will send you that estimate that came in. <clears throat> And it's just an estimate, and he, and he said it was, you know, probably, you know, up, uh, estimated a little high. He just didn't want us to be have sticker shock again. So I'll send you that, unless you have any more questions about that. Um, <laughs> well, you know, there's a lot of stakeholders. <laughs> there's a lot of stakeholders in it. Recap about Bandera. Um, Jefferson County has ponied up money already, not not this grant funding, but when the project was started, Greensboro, you know, put money in, and the and the reason that they care about it is because Green, it's watershed for Greensboro, and Gilbert County wanted to protect it as um, as open space for for their trails to come through the Piedmont Greenway to come through. Um, and then uh, Oak Ridge also gave us money towards it, and the Piedmont Land Conservancy put a lot of money into it. So, you know, we have other stakeholders that have put a lot of money into it already, and, um, and the land is in a, in a permanent conservancy. So we can't decide to use it for anything else but a park. So do you have any thoughts about any of the revenue? Okay, and, and okay, let's move into the expense <coughs> portion on page three. Um, and like I said, this is just the initial line item things that I'll get better estimates as more quotes come in. I haven't gotten a quote yet on workers' comp. Vicki, were you going to say something? I do have a question on the, um, the uh, MC Doc matching grant funding. You got $1.6 million in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, is that what we're projecting? That's for the Greenway? Yeah, that's for that NY Greenway. I should have mentioned that. So, um, what we are saying maybe we'll spend... Oh, Alan is trying to call in, too. Um, um, hold on, Vicki. Let me try to merge Alan in. Hey, Alan. And you can, um, you can, because Vicki is on here too, and you can just stay on the phone until you get here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, are both of y'all there? I'm here. I'm here. Okay, Vicki. No. All right, Alan, um, we are still going over revenues, and Vicki is, uh, is sick, and so I'm trying to do some of her talking so she doesn't restrain her voice. Um, but one of the revenues that we are talking about is, um, um, on the DOT matching grant funding, Vicki, we have put in there that <clears throat> we would get maybe two, one of y'all need to be put on, y'all put, you need your phone. Yeah. Hey, Alan or Vicki, y'all mute yourselves because y'all are having a lot of background noise and we can't. Okay. You want to do it? So... What we did is looked at the CIP and what we had budgeted for this coming budget year. And of that, we estimated uh, potentially two, up to two million getting spent on that. So the 1.6 is the 80% of uh, NCDOT grant reimbursement for that. So that's where that 1.6 million comes from, Vicki. Yeah, because we, um, you know, we, we're about at the place that, that DOT is going to let us, you know, start. And, and just like with Bandera, there's a lot of 
Uh, there are a lot of what ifs about how much progress will actually be made on those projects with uh, administrative changes, the annexation going on, but we also have, of course, deadlines tied to both the Bandera project, the NCDOT project, so kind of the best we can do is... And the water funding, because we've got $6.6 .6 million in grant funding for water. Right. Um, so we're just estimating what, what could be spent realistically of the with and that's with an aggressive schedule I think and then that 1.6 being the reimbursement for the A and Y portion. And I have a grant worksheet that I've shared with y'all before but if you want me to I can attach it and send it again. This is the schedule of our grants about what all we have for everything. Do you want me to send that again? You have it? Okay. Um, <clears throat> So, it, of course, Vicki, you, you know the DOT stuff. If, if we, we'll, we'll, we will get reimbursed for 80% of whatever we spend this year. So that's, that 1.6 is just 80% of 2 million. So is that green money already planned all the way through? Well, it keeps changing. Because I'm, I'm in Berkhaven back here, and I've heard that they're trying to move it behind our... Um, it, it's just a bit of a moving target. Yeah. It, so, so in March, the council decision was to change the routing from going into the watershed, back behind the mobile home park and coming out on Summerfield Road. So that got changed. All of that got removed and coming up straight up Summerfield Road. At the request of the Trails and Open Space Committee. Well, right, but that <laughs> request originated from council, but yes, so that was at their right. They voted unanimously to so, change it. So that was in March, and then as, as I advised council, okay, that's going to require some additional surveying, uh, engineering design because nothing had been done from that whole end of Summerfield Road up to just north of the trailer park. Nothing had been done on that because that was not, never part of the plan early than, other than very early on. And so what, what the engineers came back with was, was 146 roughly D thousand mm -hmm. addendum to the contract that we have. And they said, so of course we have to do surveying, design, engineering, but because this is a short, much shorter route than going through the watershed. And uh, it's already laid out, it's already graded, you know, that, that's kind of marshy that, that, that it was the original place was going to go through, so it was going to require more construction. So, so they were saying that, in essence, the engineers were asking for an addendum of 146000 but they said construction, the good, good news is construction is going to be considerably less. And to keep the project moving, at as council last, uh, at last week's meeting um, to approve the amendment so the project could keep moving forward, and they did not approve the amendment. So that is where we're kind of on hold to see what they might do because one council member at least with me, I wasn't at the council meeting, but one council member just before that had said, what, had switched the thinking again from the, the March direction to come up Summerfield Road to maybe we should go through the watershed, but never come up Summerfield Road at all. So, so they it, kind of tabled it. It's, a, it's very much a moving target. And, and we, we, so this is just the initial, you know, information that we have right now that may get changed um, at, when we figure out what the council wants to do with the AMI Greenway, maybe at the next meeting. <clears throat> Does that answer it, Vicki? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so um, moving on to the um, expenses. The only major change um, in the governing body section is we had <coughs> council made a budget amendment of seventy-five thousand for this fiscal year to um, fight for the annexation, and that should be settled before the end of this fiscal year. So I, that's a seventy-five thousand dollar drop, and then it's not an election year, so. Um, there shouldn't be any election services expenses. The 
the audit contract I showed y'all last month went up $300, and so that's the difference there on the under professional services. <coughs> and um, we made a budget amendment up to raise the legal fees up to half a million dollars for this year through June 30th, um, and we are asking for even more next year. This attorney um, charges considerably more than the one that we had. And the count, you know, we got the annexation stuff, and um, we have so many more attorneys the, now. We have nine attorneys now, and their, and their rates are very high, uh, much much <coughs> higher than what we've been paid in the past. So. We've got the NAACP lawsuit pending. Um, we have um, the council, you know, is it, is it, asking more for just more attorney. Um, so we may have to make a budget amendment on that during the year, but it should be enough to start it out. Anything on that? Okay, on the next page, on page four, um, the reason there is a drop in the admin salaries is that we have budgeted last year for um, a project manager, which we're not. I mean, there, there's going to be a new manager, so there won't be a project manager, and so that's that's the drop on that. I don't know. We don't know what the council will come up with with um, a salary for a new manager. We don't we don't know. <coughs> but that's my best guess for now. And just some other tweaks. We have a new um, under the information technology line, which is 401206. We have a new IT vendor, um, and so they're migrating everything. Our our IT vendor uh, retired, and so they're migrating everything over to their systems. And what the snafu was today was updates to, I guess, lock everything up. The updates that they're running, and um, so their rates are a little higher, and they they seem to be you know um, really really tuned in to. You know, keeping it, keeping everything safe and storing things on the cloud and all that stuff. They seem to be good. Um, and then, if you want to sit right there, there's your paper stuff. And we are on page four, which is just the beginning of the expenses. <coughs> Yeah. You had mentioned NAACP lawsuit. I think you meant to say their request for an investigation before they do the lawsuit. Am I wrong on that? Because the state has to do an investigation. Well, it's a complaint. Complaint. That's what I meant. It's yeah. not an actual lawsuit. Okay. Yes. Yeah, complaint. Um, and then we have so down under the property uh, and buildings. Um, <coughs> We're, we're spending more on our office cleaning because that is all tied to how many times people rent the community center. That That's for them to clean the town hall and to clean the community center. So I just wanted to pad that a little more because we're, we are really, really renting the community center a lot. Do we not have a room fee that covers that? Yes. So that's how <laughs> Yes. Um, okay, so under construction services, that would be we don't really know. So we had budgeted seventy-five thousand for the town sign, and now that's gone back to um, uh, the council has the contest about redesigning the town sign. And I, I, I don't know how that's going to be. So I don't really know how what amount to put in there. I don't know what when they redesign the town. The, the town sign that we had designed, and, and the council had approved was ready for construction, so now we're going you know, back and redoing a sign, and I don't know what number to put in there. So that number may change whenever... Do we have it budgeted in the prior year? Um, well, okay, see, the last time we spent any money on it was in fiscal year 22-23, okay. and <clears throat> that wasn't all just the town sign. That's the other construction services. We, we spent a Roughly six, five or six grand on it. We spent six thousand two hundred fifty dollars on it already. 
then we budgeted was it 70 or 75? We budgeted 75 for the construction part and then and, we got a quote of 78. And then council changed their mind on the design and said, hey, let's have a contest. And so we don't really have any idea what their plan is. So, just, so I'm just putting a number in there that will probably change. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and the, um, so the, I actually, Okay, so I, I skipped the wrong line. So that is under the fifty thousand welcome sign. The seventy thousand for construction services is because the town hall, and I don't, Scott, you need to explain this. The town hall needs tuck cleaning and waterproofing. So when That's I came, when I came 12 years ago, there was some maintenance needs for this building. Uh, we had a lot of missing mortar. Uh, we we had a lot of mortar that was just falling out and deteriorating between bricks. So. Um, we had a project of um, replacing that mortar selectively around the building, and when that was done, we had the whole building waterproofed. It's, a, it's like a clear coat for the building. Uh, worked great for several years. It had a lifespan of about 10 years. Um, we we held off a little bit on the last couple of years because, you know, we we had planned for you know to build a new town hall and that got pulled back um it's now that a new town hall is not pending in any time in the near future we decided or, or i'm suggesting that the building needs some maintenance and so uh, that is to hopefully be able to accomplish that I haven't got any quotes on that so i, I don't know that that may be uh, underpriced it's um, and it may be something that council said they don't want to do so and, and that's going to require you know s staff here to oversee that and make sure that gets done um and the water development we have put in the cip just the that amount for this year um 3.125 and so that's what we put in the budget but <coughs> It'll depend on how far the, the council changed directions about what they wanted to do with the water. They changed the size of the of the water tower and the size of the lines, and so we're, we're waiting to hear back on that as well. Um, and the town vehicle, I I had put six thousand in there this year because we said. <clears throat> in the CIP, that's for the old truck, the old green truck that Rick drives around between um, between parks. He picks up trash with. He moves, you know, boards, and he, he, Rick does a lot of repairs. I mean, so like, you know, somebody hit the little tiny fence out here and knocked out the knocked out the boards. He replaced it. That he replaced those. So he does things like that with it. <clears throat> and we said. You know, we don't know that that thing might blow an engine or whatever, so we just put that in there in case in case we need to do some repairs on that. But we haven't had to do any this year. Um, and we did have three years from now in the CIP to replace it. Um, but the council instructed me last meeting to take that out. They don't want us to have us to get a new truck. And three years from now, they <coughs> would like us to the new truck for that. So whenever we redo the CIP, they asked us to redo it in the fall, even though we did not plan to do it that soon because it's a five-year plan. Yeah. Um, they want us to redo it in like August or September. So. That <coughs> remains in there in case we need to do any replace repairs on the old truck. Um, on the planning, um, just stop, you know, just normal increases on things as, you know, prices go up on things. Um, 
we, I did budget for them to have uh, a possible 3% um, cost of living and a possible 2% merit. Um, and they have, now that we have a code enforcement officer, that's why there's more in the zoning and code enforcement in case we, there was some projects that the town wanted to look at, that the council wanted to look at, of cleaning up some, some, um, abatement and handling some okay. more <coughs> challenging code enforcement mm -hmm. cases. But our code enforcement cases have come down to just a few now. So we haven't had to spend any money on it this year because people have been cleaning up what they, what the, when the town has written in letters, they responded. Um, the only thing that we have under capital outlay for planning department is the uh, comp plan update and we really um, it depends on that also includes the land use plan. The council <coughs> decided not to use the land use plan that we had had gotten. And they want it to be a comp plan and land use plan together. So that's why there's not something separate. Um uh be for land use plan. We don't think anything's really going to change about the, much is going to change about the planning board expenses. Um, so uh, that stayed the same. And uh, same thing about <coughs> our events. So Jeff does his budget, and Cheryl does hers, and Brad does his, and we we go over them and look at them. And Cheryl said she felt like she could get the events. That, that the, the cost of the events that you stay within those budgets. And same thing for the parks and rec personnel is I did budget for them to have a possible 3% cost of living and 2% here. Um, and on the, on the uh, capital outlay for Parks and Rec at the bottom of the page, that's where Vicki, we were saying we would put in $2 million for the AY Greenway if we get that far. And then the uh, grounds equipment, let's see what Jeff is requesting here. <coughs> two years and this uh, amount is for um, the, the lease of this machine that comes with that includes all the paint to do all the fields and it's, it's just a it's just a faster and more effective way of, of marking fields and, and that is a, like I said a considerable part of part of the effort. We considered buying one and, and I haven't talked to Jeff in detail about um, why he moved away from that but I think it's uh, he just I think felt this lease approach was a much more cost effective way of, of dealing with it and uh, that's the request so we put it in the budget. Is that the first year of a three or five year lease or a 12 month lease? Do you remember? Did he give you details on that? Um. Yep. It's a three-year lease. Yeah. 
It's a, a three-year lease at eight thousand dollars per year plus a fifteen hundred dollars subscription. Is it a dollar buyout for fair market value, or um, I'm not what sure. Say? I can ask that though. Um, and the ground equipment, we had budgeted twenty thousand this year for a new gator, but then Jeff said he didn't think we needed it, so we didn't get it. That's why that says zero. And then um, the um, two hundred fifty thousand that we had budgeted for at, at, at the SCP, the community park. That was to replace the bridge over there, and then Jeff figured out that we could probably just get it repaired, and we did. And I had an email from a citizen yes, uh, Friday that said, I just want you to know how beautiful the bridge repair is. So it's complete, and it looks good. I have not seen it yet, but the citizens like it. So that was at a fraction. I haven't gotten the bill yet, but I'm thinking it'll be, what, probably around 20000 is uh, that a 250? <laughs> so what and what is included in that 250,000 is uh, resurfacing the um, uh, some of the asphalt trail down there that that we had strategically thought about doing or or waiting to do after the bridge repair or replacement was done, so we wouldn't be messing you know messing new asphalt up. So that's part of it. The other part is. Um, uh, the other the pier needs yeah, some repairs. Yeah, I'm just saying the 250 that we had this year. That's the 250 that we're budgeting for this year. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's I was, okay. ahead, I was no, getting no, uh, you. You were exactly right. That's what we're doing. The 250 for this year is to resurface the trail. It's got roots coming up, and then if y'all walked it, you know, needs to be resurfaced. And we don't want people to trip over, you know, the roots and stuff. And um, there's a. Uh, the dock and pier repairs need to be done at the at the lake, and that's what Jeff has estimated. Um, and then the next line is the Bandera Farms. That ninety five three nineteen we've already spent is um, to pond. That's the company that has given us the. That's the design and design engineering, and engineering. firm. And these are, and I'll be glad to send them to you if y'all want to look at them, but these are the budget worksheets that I give the staff and committees for them to fill out. So this one's Jeff's, and then he writes what he wants, and then like this one is Cheryl's. She does Founders Day and what she thinks she's going to spend. She puts all her notes in why. They're very, very good at what they do. And then each one of the committee members does the same, or Brad does it for planning, and then each one of the chairs of the committees do it. Y'all don't do it with us. Y'all don't spend any money. You can fix it. You can. You can. Make a budget request. Um, so does anybody have any questions on the parks and rec expenditures? Was the asphalt on the pier, was it on the CIP plan? Um, Yes. See that SCP trail resurfacing? Um, don't but think we did not pier, say the pier thing. The pier wasn't specifically. Jeff um, just kind of thought of that. But so. that, that's been something that we've, again, been talking about internally for some time. It just right. wasn't on the CIP yet. So. And the bridge replacement was on there for 250 as well, which yeah, thankfully, well. thankfully, I mean, that's a great savings to be able to, to repair it and not. Is that, a, is that pure repair, is that a capital expense, or is it permanent capital, or is it going to be a maintenance expense? It's capital. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then um, on to the last page for community services. The volunteer service, that 24000 um, that was, the council had voted, um, the, count, the current year 24000 the council had voted to give money to the um, to the elementary school to put lights on their ball fields and I've already sent that money and they also voted to give money to um, the CERT program but I can never get anybody to tell me who I can send that money to. Um, I've got that. So Ray, Bob Ray, you didn't get anywhere with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
We'll, we'll follow, yes. we'll follow up that. Um, and the animal control, they, they tell us every year, they tell all the, it's based on your population, they tell us what our service fees are for that. And I want to clarify because there was a council member that was confused about what that meant. That doesn't, that doesn't mean, um, you know, like we, if we, if, that if we get people to call the dog catcher less, we get less, you know, we can get less money. That's our portion of the yeah, the confusion was that was when that was how many times the town has called uh, animal control and said we, so. we don't know how many times citizens call animal control, but but that that is their they tell us it's based on our population and everybody pays the same rate, all the small towns. Per capita. <laughs> per capita. Mm -hmm. Ours might be more than every other people, but it's still the same rate. Um, and the fire inspections, that's what Guilford County bills us to come out and do regular fire inspections. They have to um, do regular inspections to all the businesses in Summerfield and any in-home daycares, you know, things like that. And then we get the bills for that. When we get the bills for that, um, we check and make sure that they really are in the town limits of Summerfield because sometimes they do sneak one or two in there that will say it's not in our corporate limits. So we look after that closely too. Why do we pay that, not the businesses? Part of it's because we don't have, um, we don't require business license. Yeah, we don't have licenses here. Yeah, we don't charge them. No, no enforcement mechanisms. No. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the senior programs is, we've had that for years and years. That That is senior resources of Gilbert County. They, they do, they feed them uh, once a month. Or is it twice a month? What's, what's, what was what was the month during COVID? Um, it was twice. I think it's twice again. Sure of this. Um, and they do programs for them. They have people come out and sing. Well, they've invited us before, and we went out there, and the um, Elvis impersonator was very very good. <laughs> um, and the, and they enjoyed it. The senior enjoyed it. Um, and the Trails and Open Space Committee had they they. What they normally ask for money for. It's the only time they've ever had capital expenditures before is whenever they did the Trails and Open Space Master Plan. So that's why there's just one on item and this year. They, they I've asked for more um, map work. Um, Stephanie Jane is who does all the mapping for the trails and she uses GIS and stuff and she, they've asked for that. And a graphic designer schematics for, um, exist, for communicating. Um, connect for connectivity with the, between the existing trails, and um, they have started a Summerfield Park open space beautification nature garden that they put a lot of flowers and stuff in, and um, they want to continue doing that, and they want to continue to promote the, the A1 Greenway. So that's the money they have asked for. Um, and the historical committee. Is planning on um, they've been working on it already, but they want to continue it into next year. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but they've redone what things are in here and they're continuing to do that. So this is a work in progress of them getting artifacts to put up there. One of the things they've been working on and that will probably go into next year is getting the copyright to that blanket so they can make some more of those. Um, and they're working on that right now. And they also um, want to digitize the history materials, um, go, to, uh, go to different events, like the DAR does events, they want to participate in that. Their uh, historic markers, they want to do one at, there's a, um, a brick church marker they want to do at Hopewell um, Church, you know where that is on Pleasant Ridge. That's a very big historical project of theirs right now. They've been doing archaeological um, uh, work out there in their, uh, in their cemetery. They've lo located a bunch of old graves like that were slave graves. And they've also located an old bed road that they're working on that. They use the, um, the uh, what is it, the GPR study. So they're also considering a GPR study of the Bruce home site. So that's all. That's, the, that's ground penetrating radar. 
Yes, ground penetrating radar. That's how they've located all the graves from the from the from the um, Civil War. They've located tons over there at the uh, Peace United Methodist or at Somerville Peace now uh, church as well. And they love talking about it. If you ever want to talk to them about their their findings and their work, they they work really hard on it. So that's the um, that's the um, fifty thousand feet flyover changes to come initial budget. Anybody have any thoughts or recommendations of any changes or anything that you would like to communicate? What's the plan for that six hundred twenty thousand dollar shortfall? Six hundred twenty thousand operating shortfall. Oh, oh. Um, what is it come out? It's coming out of fund balance. If, yeah, if, I mean that's that's a correct or preventive action. That's a corrective action. Are we going to fix it long term? Well, I mean the vast majority of that is astronomical legal fees. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, so, and we we can no longer affect that very much. Yeah. Or if we could just stop getting sued, we'd be all right. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, do remember that we don't take anything out of fund balance unless we spend 100% of what we budgeted, which we, which we never do. Um, so I don't, I don't think for a minute that we will actually take uh, 1.339 million out of fund balance. And, but we have to show. That's just capital. 1.3 is capital and 620 is operating for a total of 210? Well, no, I mean, on the very last page, what I've got appropriated out of fund balance because there's a shortage is 1.339 on the last page. But isn't that the shortage yes. on capital? Cap capital versus grants? Yeah. So we've got, we've got 1.3 in capital plus 620 in operating. So it's not. No, it is. That's the total. It, it's not two separate totals. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's together. It's together. Yes. There's, you know, and hopefully we'll be able to trim some of this down when I get better quotes coming in. Like the insurance quotes don't come in until June, and those are exact dollars that will come in. Um, sometimes the end of May. I'll get those. But the big stuff is really just not knowing what direction council will will go with with water with. Bandera and with the Greenway, with A and Y Greenway, and uh, and then the unknown of not knowing where the uh, NAACP complaint, if that will evolve into litigation, that will be especially expensive litigation if it does, because it will be at the federal level. And because the complaints have been filed in Raleigh and in Washington D.C., so that's why we have a local. Which would then proceed to the state public court and the district court. Well, that's so, right because what what they're looking at now is is there enough evidence to move forward from a complaint to a lawsuit. Are we uh, in the loop on that investigation, or are we just going to be informed of the end? When we get any information, I'm sure they'll give us something. But we don't, I, I've been I'm reading from, from that whole matter. So I, I don't, I don't get any information on it either. Right. I, don't, I don't know what's going on with any of it. Okay. If there is any other information, I don't, I don't have it. Let's see how things work. But does anybody want me to send you any of the budget worksheets? No, I appreciate the work. Um, okay. And as as I get changes, we'll, we'll bring them um, to the next meeting. That's the next meeting. So, um, yes, yes. Council's going to meet before then. Council right? will meet before so then. So we should expect some actual right. correction by the, then? The, um, 
Is it paper? Hold on, let me look on the calendar. Um, well, whatever the May date for the council meeting is, then there's a. But there's a special call of April meeting. Is there not? Hold on. For what? Of course, have the May 30th presentation of the final budget. Yes. Is that what you're thinking of? Um, I thought it was. Have you got your budget calendar in front of you? Yes. Okay. I can rest here for a minute. Do we not have another one in April? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No. You're, just, you're thinking of the item where we work on budget adjustments, uh, okay. communications. Well, then the next time the council will, will discuss it will be at the May meeting, which is May 14th. And our next meeting is? May 20th. Yeah. So um, the charge to you is to make a recommendation to them. Well, but not yet. No, I mean, <laughs> I'm not willing to do that. No, 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 I'm saying it, ultimately. Yes. Yeah, I mean, ultimately. <laughs> not tonight. That's all I have. Um, Biggie, unless anybody has any thoughts or questions about the draft. Well, and I'll, if y'all think of any questions that you have, you know, while you think about this over the next month, please let me know and I'll try to answer them. I have, um, I do have a rhyme or reason for most of the other items. Um, Victor, are you going to be alive in time for the next meeting? I know. <laughs> I can't tell if that was a laugh or a cough. <laughs> how, how long have you been sick, Vicky? Uh, last Tuesday. Well, not good. I know. That's, um, that's I, I'm, huh? yes, I'm, have fought bronchitis for several weeks myself. You might need to go get on some antibiotics. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to give it another day. Yeah, I'm going to give it another day. Yeah, I'm going to give it another day. Well, I should have said that. There are options of scaling it back, but that gets challenging because there's so many grants wrapped up. Yeah, Part of LWCF, RTF, so many, the ARPA funds, so so much is dependent on the core components and not just the equestrian, the horse trails, but the destination playground, the Piedmont Greenway portion. So it would have to be a lot, it, it would be a lot of reworking to scale it back. But we did, I should have said this too, but um, so whenever we got this bombshell, I uh, called Piedmont Land Conservancy, who is the one that came to us with the project to start with. And the, their um, executive director came, came to the council meeting Tuesday night because he, they were like, we want to save this project. And I said, well, you got to help me save it then. And so um, they said that they would involve their their agencies that have helped them get the grants. They, they, they don't know of any other grants we can get, but they said they would help us in the process of how far can we value engineer things without it costing us any grant funding. Like we can't go, we can't say, okay, well we're not going to do the equestrian part of it, then we'll lose all the equestrian grants. And then we can't say, we well, we're not going to have a destination playground because you know then we'll lose those grants and the, and so the, these grants are specifically tied to Summerfield. So like if we if we turn things back over to Guilford County, we would lose the um, well we would lose the ARPA grants, but we would also lose the part of grants. Um, and then the LWCF grant is a match to the part of grant. That's a million dollars of grants right there. <laughs> The estimates on one company doing the whole thing. The 
that? Who, who did that out? Well, explain how we did the pond. So, so pond is the company doing all the design and engineering. So they will design it all the way and engineer it all the way through till we have completed construction documents. And then at that point, on our schedule, when we have that, it'll be out put out for formal bids, and then it'll just be a matter of you know how those bids come in. Now they're estimating up until that point, so that that estimate right now I mentioned is a 15% design. That gets tighter and and should get more accurate as the percentage of design gets it's going. But it'll ultimately be bid out to one construction company. So we'll get the RFQs going to go up for general, not so. Okay. And the reason that you know. Whenever we, so we had three bids whenever we started the engineering and um, part of this. They just came out, Han did, uh, last month and actually got boots on the ground out there and walked all the trails. Scott and Jeb and Cheryl and Brad all walked around out there with them. So that's why they got a better estimate is because they were walking around and actually looking at, okay, this part here is marshy that right there because so, if you've driven down bunch road you've looked down in it you know yeah so as the design and engineering progresses so does the accuracy of their cost estimating because at that point they're more you know they they are honed in more on well conceptually we thought the horse trail needs to go right there now that we've got further with surveying looking at uh, buffers, etc., wetlands. Now we realize it needs to go right here, and it requires a, you know, a 12 foot uh, crossing there. Um, and so it's, you know, that that continues to improve as as they get further in the design and engineering. Does the project include sound buffering from 73? It does not. Nice. But if but, it's, but 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 the right of way is so wide from what DOT has, they have such a expanse on that western side of seventy three that um, I don't think I don't think the horses in general should be bothered by the noise. And there's a lot of vegetation there. They don't too, seem so. to think it's a problem. I make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> okay, Vicki, I hope you feel better.